How does prayer actually work, though? Well, I think to understand how prayer works, the most useful thing is to look at what prayer is not. Okay. Prayer is not, um, in essence, some kind of supernatural thing where you ask a mythical god for a favour, which he, or maybe she, uh, then decides or not to answer according to some strange Weird. psychology uh, that we don't really understand. Um, prayer is actually a, a very natural thing. It's a higher form of nature. Mm. It's a higher form of science. It's a kind of science that our science on this planet has not yet reached. Mm. Um, but one day it will. Prayer is, in essence, about energy. Okay. It's about um, channeling an energy, uh, channeling universal energy, and directing it outwards, conditioned by love, to bring about some kind of a positive result. Mm. Exactly what this energy is, we don't really know. We okay. don't really understand it um, that well. Uh, but we can all experience it. Mm. And anyone who tries uh, something like the 12 blessings as a way of sending energy out to the world will sooner or later feel and experience this energy as a very real thing. Mm. What would you recommend to someone who wanted to become a better channel for energy in the way that you described? The most important one of all is your desire and determination mm. uh, to do good. In other words, it's your feeling. Okay. It's your passion. Um, praying without passion is pointless, mm. really, or virtually pointless. Mm. Prayer is the, the song of the soul. And when the soul sings, you should you know, sing as passionately as you possibly yeah. can. I know what you mean. As expressively as you possibly can. You, you don't mean. have to be loud mm. or dramatic uh, necessarily. Um, in fact, it might be better if you're not, because mm. sometimes you can express the real feelings in your heart without needing that kind of drama. Right. Uh, but really, whatever it takes to get that feeling out, to really mean it, to really think about every single word you're saying. Mm. For example, when you pray, when you say a prayer that begins, O oh mighty God, uh, who is the creator of all things, think about the fact that God really is mighty mm. and really is literally the creator of all things. Because mm. it's easy to just say, O oh mighty God, who is the creator of all things. And you mean it, and you believe it, and you might say it quite intensely. Mm -hmm. But are you really thinking about the fact mm -hmm. of the mightiness of God as the literal creator of everything in manifestation? Mm -hmm. And I think when we start to do that, it's very difficult. Yeah. But when we start to do that at least a bit more yeah. uh, than we do now, then it adds a certain quality to our, our prayer. Yeah, I can see, in my own experience, I can see how that would be a step forward and you're just, you're embodying that belief almost in that moment and, and bringing that into your prayer rather than just an intellectual understanding of it. It actually reminds me um, of the, the, the Chinese character for sincerity is literally words become. Mm. In other words, being sincere is when your your words then manifest as something in actual fact rather yeah. than just being empty speech yeah. and that's very very true in prayer so what is the role of of words in prayer there are two types of words okay there's words in a language you understand okay and words w w where it's only about the sound mm -hmm. really there may mm -hmm. be a deep meaning behind the sound but it's primarily about sound. Mm. So that's mantra, okay. um, where it's the sound that counts more than the words, mm. well, more than the meaning of the words in terms of uh, people of our level of evolution, mm. so not a very high level, mm. uh, radiating spiritual power. Okay. The 12 blessings, though, of course, is in English. Um, and the English is very beautiful, very poetic, mm. but it's not that difficult to understand, yeah. at least okay. on a basic level. Mm. So I think the purpose of the words in a prayer 
are really to focus the mind of the person praying. Mm. Or that's at least one of the most important okay. reasons for it. Because if you just stood in silence, radiating spiritual energy for a minute or two, I think with the best will in the world that your mind might mm. wander a little. Whereas if you're saying words, it focuses the mind. Is it that, or is it fair to say that the words are helping you to impress that quality upon the energy that you're sending out? I, I think that the words themselves are, are not that important. Okay. It's the meaning of the words. Okay that then if you are feeling and believing and thinking that meaning when you're sending out power then you're going to condition the energy in that way mm. you need to understand the words mm. to help you to condition the energy if we were able to visualize in a very concentrated way um, at, you know during the time where we were invoking and sending out this energy would that be is that a way to complement the words, or is that absolutely beyond beyond words? Or well, ultimately, a very advanced master, I would imagine, would not need words. Okay. Um, and when we hear of instances when masters have used words, I suspect it may be more for our benefit than mm. for theirs. Um, but when you're when you're an extremely advanced being. You can just manipulate the energy directly mm. uh, through thought. Mm. You don't need to say words out loud.